Hey everybody, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. Uh, so E3, the presentation, had a ton of information along with a interview that Todd Howard gave concerning our concerns, our worries, our worst fears. Oh my god, the real apocalypse is coming. So, um, yeah, Fallout 76 is an always online game. Um, I was hoping that it wasn't, a lot of us were... But, um, you know, I, I think in the end, it's going to be probably a fun game to play with your friends, get people into the world of Fallout that haven't played any other Fallouts but don't really like the single-player experience. It's obvious that Bethesda wants to get more people playing their games. And while for us, uh, I guess, hardcore Fallout fans, this being an online game with PvP and... In the end, I think it will be at least a fun game. Maybe not one that Fallout lovers will, you know, really appreciate. And, you know, in the future, it'll be like, oh, that game. But anyhow, let's get to uh, what we know about the game and go from there. First off, obviously, Fallout 76 cannot be played offline. It's an online-only game, so we're always going to be online, which probably sucks for those of you who don't have, you know, great internet or internet that cuts out and stuff. All human players in the game are player controlled. There's no NPC humans. So what that brings up for me is, I don't know, like a lack of quests. Fallout 76 feels like it's going to be kind of Destiny slash The Division, which I didn't get any of those games. Not really a fan of either of them. I was looking forward to Division because I thought it was going to be more of a single player experience. And then it was just shoot people in hoodies and they never die. And so I know I know they fixed a lot of stuff, but initially that's what Division was. So my two concerns, I guess, is what I'm trying to say are quest-wise, is it going to be a lot of, hey, go here, build this, kill this, get the big boom boom gun? And are the enemies going to be bullet sponges? Now in the trailer we saw, you know, groups of basically four taking on enemies, but at the same time we did have some solo play where... Uh, the player took down uh, Preston Garvey, shot him straight in the face with a musket, which was uh, pretty funny. But yeah, those are my two, I guess, main concerns. I feel like we're going to be getting our quests from Terminals, Notes, which, talking about it now, it doesn't seem that bad. But like I said, I'm sure we'll get story from Holotapes, Terminals, Notes. Ugh. <laughs> A lot of people are talking about how there's not going to be an option to opt out of PvP. I really don't think PvP will be that much of an issue. I'm sure, like, you know, obviously you're going to get griefed every once in a while. But Bethesda seems like they're pretty much working on a way to at least combat this. So it's not rage-inducing and people are going to quit. Because they want people to play this game, obviously. And I know it might not seem like it because they've gone in this different direction, but they're going multiplayer because they want to grow the fan base. They want you to go, hey, I got this game, I know you've never played Fallout, but we go together and punch frogs in the dick, and your friend's going to be like, all right, all right. So maybe they'll even have, like, you know, a, a fallback place where you can hide in your bunker. You could maybe go back to Vault 76, and maybe that's a, a no-shoot zone. Maybe they'll have areas where robots will basically act like guards and will just, you know, decimate anyone if they're being an asshole. Vats will be in the game. Uh, obviously, it's going to be real time because you can't freeze the whole server. They have stated that they're going to have mods available. Now, I don't know if this continues to player-made mods. I'm kind of thinking it's just going to be, you know, the paid mods, the Bethesda mods that they offer. But at the same time, just like GTA 5 modders got around the whole online thing, I'm pretty sure if you really don't want to play with other people, there will be workarounds and there will be unofficial mods that you can eventually play with. It was also mentioned that there will be private world options. It's not going to be at launch, but that will be another, you know, option for those of you who don't want to have to deal with other players that you don't know or just people in general. Now, since they say that's not at launch, I mean, they could always, in the future, add human NPCs. Not necessarily to give out quests and stuff, but to add raiders, perhaps. Because this is going to be a long-term project, I feel, or at least, you know, a few years. And just like The Division and Destiny, they have special events. They have things for holidays. 
And so maybe there'll be the, you know, the Christmas Raider extravaganza. And they'll add a whole bunch of Raiders around the world. And you can do that in your own private server, hunt Raiders, and have a great time. When they initially mentioned the four times world thing, I was a bit skeptical, but that's because I was thinking it was still going to be a single player game. Because this is multiplayer, I think that they're actually going to take advantage of that four times map size. Now, uh, just to reiterate, Todd mentioned that uh, this map for Fallout 76 is going to be four times the size of Fallout 4. But what this will also provide is a lot of areas for Bethesda, you know, to possibly work on in the future, along with player-made mods, a lot more locations to put stuff. But yeah, I, I really don't know what else to say. Um, these videos are a little bit different for me, and to be completely honest, <laughs> a little bit harder to make. Overall, though, am I looking forward to Fallout 76? I'd say yeah. At the end of the day, it's a game that takes place in the Fallout universe. I can play with my friends, I can play with my fans, and if nothing else, I can always go back to Fallout 4, Fallout New Vegas, and play tons of mods that have been made by people who love the single player experience, and sometimes do, you know, a better job than Bethesda. This is a different type of game, Bethesda wants to go in a different direction, they want to get more players, you know, it, it makes financial sense for them as a company. They hold the IP, and they know what people like, but at the same time, they're always pushing the boundary to get more people to play their games. I'd say what I'm most excited about is checking out the new locations and also all the new creatures. They showed us some really cool, you know, creature designs, that, that big giant bee thing. We got that bat flying around and also the tank from Left 4 Dead 2. That's in there too. I'm gonna play Fallout 76. It's definitely gonna be different because of the no human NPCs, no quests given and probably, unfortunately, a lack of story. You know, it's gonna be there, but it will most likely be in the background. In the end, though, I'm cautiously optimistic. Looking forward to it. I'm gonna try to grab a beta key if I can, and if you guys and gals get it, then you can uh, come try to find me. Come try to hunt me down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I I'm looking forward to the game. I think it'll be fun. Maybe not a completely Fallout Fallout game, but at least we're getting a Fallout game. Because I really didn't expect anything Fallout related. I thought it would either be uh, Starfield or another Elder Scrolls, which wouldn't have necessarily been bad. But uh, hey, we got a Fallout, even if it's not a, a, a true, pure Fallout. It's still in the Fallout universe. You can play with your friends. You can shoot ghouls in the face. And you can nuke annoying dickbags. So... We'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you in the future. Away! Really?